It is passed on to the government in the sixth social week. People pay for what they do, for what they allow themselves to become. The day I was born started off bad and only got worse. I'm drunk driving. Damn cigarettes. You got any more smokes? No, I don't. I'm the sun cut. I'm going to go into the city. I'm going to go into the city. When Travis smashed into the pickup, the Chevy folded up like an old accordion. It's a wonder they all weren't killed. It's going to be hard. The scene's going to be like that. Mama didn't know what hit her. Even though she went through the windshield, she slept through the whole thing. I see you sitting in that one. Out. I am Ruth for my aunt. I got the nickname Bone from Uncle Earl. She ain't no bigger than a knuckle bone. Neither Aunt Ruth nor Granny could write very clearly. Granny refused to speak it after she'd run him out of town from messing with her and daughter. Aunt Ruth had never been sure of his last name anyway. If the hospital didn't mind how a baby's middle name was spelled. They were definite about having a father's last name. The clerk got mad. Certified a bastard by the state of South Carolina. Nobody bothered to ask me. It's my baby. That's your own damn fault for sleeping three whole days. I had a concussion, Mama. Well, what's that mangy dog doing in the yard? Dude, that dog, Mama. It's probably got rabies or something. Yeah, yeah. I'd have said I was married and they would have believed me. The way I'd have said it. You ain't married. <laughs> Well, it's only when you bring it to their attention that they write it down. If I'd have come on my porch, I used to say my birth certificate would get chased right on out of here. I don't care what they say, Bone. I won't have anybody call you trash. I work my ass off over other people's peanuts, and they look at me like I'm a rock on the ground. One soft-talking black-eyed man fix that. Don't you worry, Bone. You got me now, and I got you. And we'll stick together, the two of us. What's going on? Hey, hey, how's my little sweetie pie? Sweet as ever. You watch yourself. That's my sister you're talking about. You know, I could pretend like I'm her daddy. In the courthouse? Yeah. They side of the county farm for shooting up your own brother-in-law's Chevy. You think they won't know who you are? Here we go. We're going over there, Mama. Put on a good show for Mama. Okay. I couldn't find her husband. And there was so much excitement, I just I just got confused. And here all bloody, looking like she was dead to the world. She went right through that windshield, you know. Nine months gone. You know how these things can happen. Oh, I do. You shouldn't have swung at him, Ruth. Didn't help. Not as a man, Bone. A real man. He's handsome. He's gonna take care of us girls. I know we will. Are you wish me luck, sweetie? Okay, good luck. Mm-hmm. <coughs> oh. oh. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks, mama. Getting ready. Husband and wife. I walk the line. Who's your new daddy? You are. Woo! Oh, yeah, you're flying. You can picture me and Bone. You're going to be a new daddy real soon. Yeah, and I think that the sex camera, right? You're running late. You tell me. Right, it's the end again. It's getting bad. Just came along after it rained. The devil's rain. Yeah. Just good. like that. They ride and they stand forever. Amen. He wouldn't have died in the road like that if it hadn't been for you. How dare you? What? People up. I mean, Hold your tongue, he's driving. God's got his eye on you. You got no right to judge us. No right at all. Now you've got the look. You're as old as you're ever going to get, girl. This is the way you'll look till the day you die. Girl, you can't solve everything with a shotgun, my lord. Nobody's going over there, and that's that. It says when you start telling me what I can and can't do, huh, Ray? We just take care of our own. Throw me all over the field. That ain't your daddy, Bone. Your daddy are one of town. Just then, you nigger. You listen up, Garvey. When you and Gray was just as big as race, sleeping in your cribs, a man came running to Greenville County on a horse. He didn't have a head. And he wasn't alive. Not looking for a boy ugly enough to steal. 
couldn't tell which of us was uglier, so he took both of you. And you too fit the bill. He took you back it's to a shack in the woods and was ready to make stew out of you. A knife to your ear, because he like little boys' ears and stew. Tastes good on a biscuit. Granny! You're already married, Phil. Hey, we are. I'm going harder in a day than you have your entire life, Wade. She is. You say the wrong thing, she'll take the shine right off your teeth. I don't need no man to tell me jack about my child. Say something, boy. Making me nervous. Pretty cute. Well, you will be the one. Wonder if you can smile. You do need a husband. A year and a hundred thousand dollars. Being the hard man. I got somebody I want you to meet. It's like you could use some. Evening, ma'am. Where would you like me to put this meat, ma'am? You steal that thing? Because if you did, don't bring it into my house. Don't you just take it? It's a present from him to you. Oh, help me. I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Is it okay that I said that? It's okay. What's going on? You party? Sleeping Beauty. Sure was nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. See you again sometime. I'm sure are some pretty girls. Is it that? I'll just be another minute. What the? Can I come to you something? In the house. Okay. Tell me about your shirt. That don't mean nothing. Glenn loves me, Mama. You just don't like the Waddells. Glenn's not like that. You don't know what that boy's like, Annie. Glenn's been working with Earl over at the mill for eight months now. Ask Earl. He's always looking at me out the sides of his eyes like some old junkyard dog trying to steal a bone. You want me to spend the rest of my life working my ass off till I dry up and can't even imagine marrying again? He's got a temper on him. They quit him and got him. He's going to be a problem. Yeah, one for you, one for you. you know I love you. I love you with all my heart, girl. Call me daddy. Call me daddy because I love your mama. I'm gonna treat you right. All right, I'm gonna think about it. All right, she's saying yes, I do. Broken mirror. You're starting to look like me, Bone. You're growing up. <laughs> Think I'm doing the right thing? No. No, I am. <laughs> <sighs> Somebody strong to stand by me. I'll stay with you. I know you will, Bone. <laughs> His own brother turning him down to be best man. That's because he ain't best man, Mama. <laughs> Then you'll have a new daddy, and we'll be a family. You'd be happy for me, sure. I am. That's good, I did. Children. I'm giving you a chance to change your mind. Oh, hellfire, Earl. I'm not going to change my mind. He loves you all right. Like a gambler loves a fast race horse, or a desperate man loves whiskey. Then you know something? Maybe I am. It's gonna be a boy, I'm telling you. There's something about that Glenn. I almost like him. But I got a feeling the boy could turn like whiskey in a bad barrel. You baby. Give me that. Smoking my pregnant. What the hell? Smoking in the car too. Come on. We went to them and sick and then smoking. Doctor says it's gonna be a while. 
but she's doing just fine. I know she's worried. <laughs> Thinks if it's a girl, I ain't gonna love to still be our baby. I'll have my son. I'll have our little baby boy. I see him stroking. Matt, think I'm Your mama's gonna be all right, and I love you, Bone. We're gonna be happy. Everything's gonna be all right. Okay. Oh. Up. Your mom was gonna be all right, but she ain't gonna have no more babies. Ugh. My baby's <laughs> dead. <laughs> now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, may the grace of God in communion with the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. We're moving. What? It's a place over by the J.C. Penney Mill. What's wrong with this place? Damn you, Glenn Waddell. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> We don't need nobody else's help. We're gonna do just fine on our own. Oh. Separate from the county and that. What do you got there? A picture. Let me see it. This ain't your daddy. What? I'm your daddy, Bo. This guy. Tell me I'm your daddy. Daddy. <laughs> That's right. Now you do it. What's he? Say it. Call me your daddy. Daddy. I step in the way. Hey, what's going on? Taking a little walk. A child's oh, moving. This guy. I was doing everything I was supposed to. One's a lawyer, finest lawyer around. Another one is a dentist with the biggest practice in Greenville. They make their daddy proud. When are you gonna do something to make your daddy proud? You come here looking for a job, is that why you're here? Yo! No, sir. I told you I can't do that. Well, I know it's hard, Glenn. We ain't gonna have the rent if you don't get it from him. You don't understand. James never said nothing about paying me at all. There's other things we can do. Other jobs. After that, things seemed to move irreversibly forward. Moving had no season, was all season. We moved so often, our mail never caught up to us. It made me feel ghostly, unreal, like a box that goes missing. Turns up, but you realize you never needed anything in it anyway. I was just trying to help, Glenn. How can you shame me like that? I'm a grown man, Annie. I don't need your brother to pay my damn way. Glenn, that's mm -hmm. crazy. We need this money. You just do as I say it. Boy, you're at it. Things mm -hmm. I know ain't good enough. I put my hand in a honey jar, comes out. Comes along. Nothing I do is right. It'll work out. Shut up. You shut yeah. up. You don't give me that mama crap. You shut your mouth. You just shut up. Shut up. I'm sorry, Daddy. Daddy, you know I don't mean to yell. He's kind of psychotic. You know oh, I do. Jesus, Glenn. You don't know your own. The bone knows I never mean to hurt her. No, he never meant to hurt me. But more and more, those hands seemed to move before he could think. Crept over the edge of the mattress, tearing me like a river. How come we always gotta eat pork if it's cold? Huh, Bone? Because Daddy Glenn can't keep a job. How come Daddy Glenn don't like you, Bone? You gotta keep asking me a million questions. I think you girls hadn't been fed in a week. You don't know what real hunger is. It's good. Little crackers and ketchup. You're so casual about finding another job, but I feed my girls that garbage. I was out looking for a job all day. How many? How many people did you see? I was never going to have my girls know what it was like. I was never going to have them go hungry or cold or scared. You get Reese ready. I'm taking you over to Anna Almas for a little while. Oh, no. 
Now, who's big dress? You gotta get the tomatoes almost done before you put the eggs in. Want them to melt like the butter between your teeth and your tongue. What you gonna do about it, Glenn? What? Nothing, that's what. And he's got her girls all dialed up today. I uh, got that job, and it's uh, working out really well. Write checks on it. We buy us a couple. Take that one there on the table. So we, we don't want to see make it look like we we need a new district. Damn, you clumsy child! You when you bring them around, what did they do? Most people are my family. Your family, your family. Seven months. You can't hurt me anymore, old man. And you got to tear around here. Even do it, kid. You're a girl, not a racehorse. You're a girl, not a pretty horse. Little bitch. Uh. Little bitch. Uh. Oh. No. He's taking to another level. Claire, open the door. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as you're going to be. Claire, This guy is crazy. Claire, Making fun of me, embarrassing me in front of my daddy. Claire, let me in. Let's go to someone. Call the police. Someone's got to love her enough to care how she turns out. Really? What'd you do, honey? I think it's time for a divorce. tried to be careful. Something had gotten loose, like wild strands of hair unraveling in the dust. He wasn't making enough money at his new job, so Mama went back to the cafe. You know where I found this? I found this on the floor in the hallway. What I tell you, I do, come on, get up, let's go upstairs. Glenn always found something I'd done, something I had to be told, because he loved me so much. I hid my bruises as if they were evidence of crimes I had committed. You said, then, uh, long time ago. Just accident prone. She's always getting into something. Falling out of trees, falling off the porch. Lucky she's such a hard-headed brat. <laughs> yeah, why don't you ask her? See, I'm talking to this. How'd she break her coccyx? Her what? Her tailbone, lady. Her ass. Maybe you just been throwing her up against the damn wall. What are you saying? You want to talk about it, honey? Let me I'm have it, ask her. Ask your mama to leave and then maybe you can tell me what happened. Just get him, I'll control. I've been beaten and I'm going to call the authorities. Yeah, this is a bad bit, man. Thank you, doctor. Don't you dare. Annie! Annie! Annie, no! What in the hell happened to her? Daddy Glenn said he couldn't live without Mama's love. He didn't swear he would never lay a hand on me. Daddy Glenn's here. Bone. Yeah, I would not call back to that thing. You know, your Aunt Ruth is real sick. He was wondering if you'd go out there for a little while until she gets better. Okay, baby. Bye-bye. Just awful damn sick. Then what is it, child? Daddy Glenn hates me. He don't like you much, but he's just jealous, I think. Men are just like little boys jumping up on titty whenever they can. Your mama knows it, and we all do. Has he ever touched you, honey? Has he ever messed with you? Mm -hmm. Down here, honey. Has he ever hurt you down here? Mm -mm. Are you sure? Uh oh, she's lying. Do you believe in God? Why, sure as hell do. Good. I'm gonna be a gospel singer someday. Get off the dog. Oh, shut up, old man. Goodbye. They're talking about your car when your mama's dying. You don't know what it's like, Bone. Getting out on your own and then being dragged back home. A job that pays your own money. Stuff you like to do that your mama says is silly or sinful. Own plans. And as soon as that car's paid for, you can bet your ass will be gone again. The devil himself ain't gonna be able to drag me back. Oh. Yes, Auntie? Turn off that radio, would you, honey? Will you sing for me? I'm gonna shout and say till it's worth goodbye. That's nice, honey. She's dying. 
you trying to take the paint off the walls or just sour the milk? Please. 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 I've been calling you for five minutes. Your mama needs your help down there. I didn't hear you. You dare sass me. You think just because your aunt died, you can talk to me like that? You're what in the house. Answer me. Do you want to... Of all days, Jesus. Annie, what? Annie, let me handle this. Let me handle this. Okay. Man, she's kind of stupid to stay in the sunset with him. Hey, Bone! Come over here a minute. Drink to Aunt Ruthie. Just don't tell your mama, though, she'll take my head off. <laughs> oh, oh, easy does it, kiddo. Sit between them. I'm sorry, Bone. Who slipped you some liquor? He's telling. Really? What the hell are you screaming about? Going on? Kill him. Uh -uh. Hey. Yeah, no. Hey. He finally deserves. Probably should go to him for this and handle him like that. Look at it from the other side for a while. Maybe you won't be glaring at people, so I did run off to the carnival, all right. Not for no man. Looks like you're gonna make yours out of pride, stubbornness, and too much anger. Better think hard, Ruth Ann, about what you want. Better think real hard. You stay away from here. That's what he always says. Just taking a breather. I'm gonna cut his throat as soon as he's done breathing. And you know what he said to me? He said he wouldn't touch me if I took a bath in whiskey and put a bag over my head. Remember when you told me and Garvey about the living dead? I've been thinking maybe our daddy's are the living dead. Everything's going out of Raylene's. Fine. You look like you're waiting for something, Bone. You want to stay here with me? I couldn't stand it if you hated me. I don't hate you. He's good to you. It's good to race. I wouldn't ask you to come home unless I knew you were going to be safe, Bone. I promise you. You sure about that? I won't go. I'll stay at Ray Lane's. I think she's glad to keep me. I want you to go back to Daddy Glenn. I can't go with you. <laughs> At Raylene's, the days were a gift, long and warm. I slept dreamlessly and woke up at peace. It's nice. Come here. Yeah, this guy. Locked the doors. She said I'd almost. I'm just coming over for some tomatoes. Good. It's a criminal. Down fishing. How about you go inside and make me a glass of iced tea while I wait? You're all getting bigger. You're gonna be dating any day now. Breaking some man's heart just because you can. The jumpy girl. That's yeah, probably the other way. Time to make it up to you. She loves you more than I can understand. She's not coming home until you come home too. Then I have yeah, to tell her we're gonna be together again. I don't want to live with you no more. I won't. You won't? Yeah. You won't live with me no more? Yeah, starting. Don't say what you do. I'm your daddy. I say what you do. No. I want you to try to be reasonable, girl. 
I'd rather die than go back living with you. <laughs> yeah, I bet you would. I'm Is he going to kill her? I'm going to tell her everything. Oh, you don't want to help your daddy at all, do you? Do you? Do nothing for me! Do you? You're the reason! Fine. Understand that with everything that's happened, if she wasn't coming back to me, I would kill you. You know that I would break your neck. Mm -hmm. Bobby Harry. She is still for Gibson. I'm done. Really? She goes back to him again. I think I'm done watching this. We should run away before he kills you too. Um, don't stop the car. Tell me who it was. Really? Still not Just telling. Tell me, no one's ever gonna hurt you again. And then Just with tell. Me. Your mom ain't here, Bone. I think you ought to let her be. I was breaking her arm there. Bone. Imagine people. We all do terrible things to the ones we love sometimes. And she ain't never gonna forgive herself. Hate her. You'll forgive her. I hate her. Mm. Him. Oh, I never wanted you to get hurt. I never thought it would go the way it did. I couldn't see him that way. You don't know how much I love you, honey. And how much I've always loved you. But you're not doing anything to say her. Huh? I don't know what happened to him. So him. Once I was born, her hopes turned, and I climbed up her life like a flower reaching for the sun. Who would I be when I was 15? Would I be as strong as she had been? As hungry for love? Like my mama. A boat right. A bastard. A bastard out of Carolina. Andra, yes, it's ending. I want to know is. It's the justice, sir. Uh, the police didn't know it was him, so why oh, is he still protecting him? It's gonna be a disturbing movie. Actually, that last scene. You guys are gonna be doing the last scene, hospital.